Hi guys. This is Diagrotech. Today, we are going to install FortiGate VM version 7 on VMware Workstation Pro then, we are going to connect Windows 10. If you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share, subscribe and click on the notification bell for more upcoming videos. Thank you. First we are going to download and install VMware Workstation Pro. I will attach all these download links on the description below. In this window, I will choose Workstation 16 Pro for Windows since I'm using Windows 10. Click on download now then wait for it to download the file. Let's check the downloaded file. Double click on it to install. Click on next. Accept the terms in the license agreement then click next. We are not going to change the destination so click on next. I don't want to check for product updates on startup and join the VMware customer experience. Click next. Click on next to create shortcut on desktop and startup menu. Before you click install, check your network adapter settings don't be surprised because the VMware will automatically create virtual network adapters in my case Ethernet 5 and VMware network adapter VMNet 1 has been added notice the shortcut application created on desktop click finish now run the application if you have the license key then you can input it here. Since I don't have the license key, I will choose I want to try VMware Workstation Pro, click continue to proceed. Now that the VMware Workstation was successfully installed, we will now download the FortiGate VMOVF file. Open your web browser then go to support.fortinet.com. Again, this is a free account, you can register or log in if you already have one. In the previous video, I showed you how to create an account. Now, click on support. Choose VM images. Under product, choose FortiGate. Under platform, choose VMware ESXi. You can see the latest versions available and also the earlier versions. Let's choose 7.0. The first option is upgrade from previous version of FortiGate. We will go for the second option which is new deployment of FortiGate for VMware. Click on download and wait for it to download the file. Let's now check the downloaded file. The file is compressed to we have to extract it first. Right click on it then choose extract files. We are going to import this FortiGate VM64 on the VMware Workstation Pro. Open the VMware Workstation, click on Open a Virtual Machine. Locate the downloaded file, choose the FortiGate VM64. Click on it then click Open. You must accept the license agreement then click Next. You can modify the name, let's use FortiGate version 7. Under the storage path, you can leave it as default or you can choose different path. I usually store all my virtual machines on my D drive. The imported files will be installed in this location. Click OK, you can now see our storage path is drive D. Click import. Click edit virtual machine. We will leave the memory processor and hard disk as default click on network adapter set it to bridge this means this FortiGate virtual machine will get IP address from our physical network the IP address will be in the same network so you can access the FortiGate virtual machine from the host now we will create a virtual switch so any device you will configure in the same segment will be logically in the same network. 
we will configure the LAN IP address afterwards. To do this, click on Network Adapter 2 then choose LAN Segment. Click on LAN Segments, click Add. We will name it as LAN then click OK. Expand the LAN segment and choose the LAN we added. This next step is very very important, I recommend you to follow this process or else you will encounter these errors. Evaluation license has expired. Upload a new license. Or, admin sessions removed because license evaluation changed to invalid. For all the network adapters, you must uncheck the connect at power on, you have to uncheck it one by one, make sure you uncheck for all the network adapters. Once done, click OK. You can now power on the virtual machine. Wait for it to finish all the process. Now, log into the device. By default the username is admin with no password. Every time you first boot your device or every after factory reset, you need to configure your admin password. First thing we have to do is to check the system license status. Get system status. The virtual machine will only be valid for 15 days, once the license expired, you can no longer use the virtual machine. You can redo this process to have another 15 days. Now, make sure to enter this commands to avoid the errors. We have to disable synchronization to NTP server. Config system NTP. Set NTP sync disable. Set type custom. End to apply. Now, let's configure back the changes we did earlier on the network adapters. Right click on the FortiGate virtual machine. Settings. Choose network adapter. Check the connected and connect at power on. Next is the network adapter 2 or which we configured as our LAN. Check the connected and connect at power on. We don't need to do the rest since we will only use the two network adapters. Once done, click OK. We will now configure the system interface. Configure system interface. Edit port 1. This would be our one or internet facing interface. Set mode to DHCP. It means, this port will automatically receive IP address from our physical network since we already set the network adapter to bridge. Set allow access to HTTP, HTTPS, Ping, Telnet, and SSH. Set role to one. Set alias to one. Next is we are going to configure our LAN interface which is the port 2. Edit port 2. Enter the IP net mask you want to assign. We will give IP 10.0.0.1 with slash 24 subnet. Set allow access to HTTP, HTTPS, ping, telnet, and SSH. Set role to LAN. And to apply. Let's now check what is the IP received by the port 1. Get system interface physical. Notice the port 1 or R1 IP is 10.1.1.21. Since we enabled ping access then we should be able to ping from our host or our physical network. Open your command prompt. Ping 10.1.1.21 Success Since we also enabled HTTP and HTTPS access then we should be able to access from our web browser. Great. Let's now log in to the virtual machine. You can begin now or later. You can check what's new in 40 OS 7.0 or you can click don't show again and click OK. Congratulations.
you are now running FortiGate firmware version 7. In this dashboard, you can see the serial number, firmware version, system time, uptime, etc. Click the notification bell, it tells you that the evaluation license expires soon. Notice the date and it's exactly 15 days trial. Let's check the interfaces, go to network, interfaces, you can see the port 2 which is our LAN. We can edit and give alias as LAN. Scroll down and you will see the WAN interface. Now, we will connect Windows 10 in this FortiGate virtual machine. This is very interesting, you can imagine that you are running and configuring an actual FortiGate device and of course a Windows 10 connected to it. But first, we have to configure the policy for the LAN devices like the Windows 10 to go out of the internet through this FortiGate. Go to Policy and Objects, Firewall Policy, this device don't have a default configured policy so we have to create a new one, create new, give your desired name, let's give it LAN to all. Incoming interface would be the LAN or port 2, outgoing interface would be the 1 or port 1. For the source, we are going to create new address. We will give it a name of local LAN, IP netmask of 10.0.0.0 with slash 24 subnet. Click OK to apply. You can now add it on the source. Destination would be all. Service would be all. Enable NAT. We can leave security profiles disabled for this demo. Enable policy is enabled to click OK to apply. This policy means, internal network can access anything or any protocols at any time, no restrictions, no filtering and no scheduling. Now, I'm going to import Windows 10 on this VMware workstation, if you don't know how to install Windows 10 on VMware, you can check my previous video. All of my virtual machines are on drive D so I'm just going to import it. Now, click on edit virtual machine settings, you can modify your settings. Click on network adapter, we have to change it to LAN segment then select the LAN, this means, this device will be a member of the LAN interface of the FortiGate. Click OK, you can now power on the device. Since we haven't enabled the DHCP on the FortiGate LAN interface then we will have to set the IP address statically. Double check the LAN IP address. We will give this device the IP address of 10.0.0.10. .10. Subnet mask is slash 24. Default gateway is 10.0.0.1. You can enter your preferred DNS server. Click OK. You can now see that it's connected to the network or the FortiGate. Now, let's do some ping test. Let's ping the gateway. Success. Let's see if we can ping Google DNS or the internet. Success. Let's open a browser. I will install first the Microsoft Edge. Now let's test Fortinet.com. Success. Now, let's log into the FortiGate. 10.0.0.1. Go to Policy and Objects then Firewall Policy. You can see that there's an incoming and outgoing traffic. You can now do your lab activity. You can enable the UTM and test. Check the source and you can see our Windows 10 IP address 10.0.0.10. .10. Check the new features and updates etc. Please comment below what are your thoughts about this release. Well. That's all for today's demonstration. I really hope you enjoyed and learned something from this video. Please don't forget to like, share, 
subscribe and click on the notification bell for more amazing videos. Thank you and see you in the next video.